Hey guys, as many sellers know, Amazon made some big changes to their terms of service back in October 2016. For those of you who don't know, the old way of launching a new product on Amazon often included doing a product giveaway at a discounted price in exchange for an honest review. This was a big part of many sellers launch strategies. However, Amazon found that these reviews tended to be more positive and affected their customers trust in Amazon reviews. So they've completely stopped incentivized reviews and therefore changed the launch strategy that many have used until this point. So we wanted to do an updated version of our product launch strategy. As we understand, this has been a big pain point for a lot of new sellers or existing sellers that are looking to launch a new product. So before I begin, I'm assuming you've already found a product. We have a lot of great material on how to do this if you haven't already. It's very important to note that thorough product research is a crucial part of this process as well, since no product launch can help a product that has little demand or is too competitive. So step number one, run small promotional giveaways, giving away three to 10 products a day for one week. I know a lot of you out there believe that this change in Amazon's TOS has killed promotional giveaways, but we've found that isn't the case there's still a lot of value in hosting these promotions. Let me explain. When you launch a new product on Amazon, you need momentum to get going, and you get this from sales. Sales get you off the start line. They get you ranking for keywords and start improving your bestseller rank, or BSR. So as long as you have a professional seller central account, you can create coupon codes and utilize these promotions. This won't necessarily translate into reviews like it once did, However, that was only part of the benefit, and this is where step two comes in. Focus on email campaigns. Following up your customer orders with a targeted email sequence is really important in turning your customers into brand advocates or product reviewers. But to be very clear, we want to proceed with caution so that there's no confusion that you're giving away discounted products with an expectation of receiving a product review in return. That would be considered an incentivized review and is against Amazon's terms of service. Instead, these emails going out to all the customers who purchase from you, you know, regardless of whether it was discounted or full price. The purpose of these is to send thoughtful, relevant and timely emails to your customers to enhance their buying experience. Here you could offer them uh, a free PDF for instance, or an instruction manual or a guide that helps them more efficiently use your product. You can offer your assistance if they have any issues with your product, which is also a proactive way of, of handling negative reviews or feedback before it happens. And by providing this level of customer service, buyers will be more likely to leave you a product review. And so for this, we recommend JumpSend, as it covers both step one for running promotions, but also step two for sending out email campaigns specifically targeted to each of your products. So on to step three, turn on the pay-per-click from the very beginning. A lot of people talk about turning this on once you've got at least you know, 10 or 15 reviews, and it is true that you will get higher conversion rates and more clicks the more reviews that you have. However, there's no harm on turning it on from day one you know, with a small budget, say $20 a day, or, you know, as even one or two sales at the start can really propel your listing. Because pay-per-click advertisers on keywords, if you get a sale, then it begins to rank you for that keyword. So while you're paying to get those initial sales, the long-term effect is that you'll start to rank higher for that keyword term naturally, and begin to get organic sales, which you haven't spent anything on. Pay-per-click is very powerful because your product could be shown at the very top of page one with zero reviews. That's great exposure. And if you can get one or two sales at the start with zero reviews, then that's so motivating and it verifies your product because imagine then how many sales you will get when you do have reviews. Previously, you could wait until you had a few reviews before turning on PPC, but now it's more important than ever to turn this on from day one to get those initial sales happening. So those are the three steps we would recommend in launching a product today. You may need to rinse and repeat step one, you know, with some repeat giveaways, depending on the results you get from the first one. And then always be optimizing your PPC campaigns, experimenting with different keywords and seeing which ones get more sessions and conversions, etc. 
Other opportunities to look out for are Amazon Lightning deals, which are now available for most sellers. Amazon will recommend a sale price for your product and a minimum number of products that you need to offer. But the advantage of this type of promotion is that Amazon will give your product more exposure to their huge customer base. So I hope these steps have helped you out and good luck with your product launch.